Hi, it's Gadget, and like I said, I was going to talk about, in this episode 30, Friday the 13th and stuff. Friday the 13th, a lot of people are afraid of. It's just cadescophobia and everything, but nobody should really be afraid of it, because I had a blast. I work was slow and everything. I felt that, eh, I'm just going to have another boring weekend and stuff after what's been going on. Like I said, if you saw in the past episodes about how I was saying about my family, everything, the guy that couldn't, didn't want to get to know me, just see this, and basically that's how I perceive it because you can't get to know somebody in two months. So all that aside and everything, they were having a union party at my job. And I, I know about them. I never got to go because it either was on a wrong day or just with my mom being manic, I couldn't get out of the house. But I figured it's a Friday the 13th. It's a day where things happen and everything, especially if you're Wiccan. Um, it's a day that negativity and stuff goes away. It's like it's a, a day that you can get away with things, not in a bad way, but in a good way. I was able to go to the party, but I had to make a decision because I was like, wasn't sure... Should I just stay home? And I said, you know what? I'm going. So, between everything and stuff, I got down there. I thought I'd be the last one there. I was actually the first one there of the people I know. And on my side, of where I work. But me with parties are not good because of past experience with family and everything and stuff. So I see all the crowds of people. I remember I'm sheltered. So it's like, okay, I can't do this. I'm like, I'm sitting here like, I can't do this. So I called, I waited for my friends and everything. But my supervisor showed up. So I went with him and I looked for a table and stuff. That way when they showed up, they, we would have a table and everything. So it was an okay night in the beginning because I was still nervous and everything. Wasn't used to being somewhere where it's like I could have fun and stuff and everything. So I didn't know how this w worked because I've never been to like a union party or anything. So I saw, oh, it's like a party. It's like a festive thing. They also talk about things and stuff. I said, cool and everything. So... I'm going to be honest with you, I had a blast because I have the best bunch of friends that I consider my brothers and sisters. They didn't push me, they actually pulled me to go onto the dance floor, but they didn't push me in the sense of they took me, they let me try, and if I couldn't get it, they still let me step aside and then a little bit like something that was a little slower in because remember my knee is still messed up and everything, plus I never learned how to dance normal dances and everything as I say normal 80 90 today and stuff I do know a little box step and I do know a little bit of like some 70s dances and stuff and everything how to move to those things but anything that requires hip movements I can't do to save my life they don't move but we had a raffle and everything I came close I almost won it was three numbers off my number was and I even have the ticket was this number here right the number they called was not a nine two seven my friends, they were off by one on another one. And then they gave us these things out for the food and everything and stuff. So I figured that's a cute keepsake and everything. I also still have the stamp on my hand when they stamped us to make sure we come in. And Shadow is actually playing with the balloons if you guys want to take a look and everything. See him over there in the corner? He, he actually sleeps in that cat pan. We had to, we actually, he doesn't like beds. So he's actually killed. It was like think four more balloons on that thing and stuff but he was playing with them and he was so good with them last night too that he didn't pop any of them when I brought them home but back to the, the party and everything I had such a good time and everything yeah I was a little upset that what made me think because they said we could have brought a guest and I was like too bad this guy did not get to know me or stick around long enough he could have had fun there free food everything got to meet my friends the way I got to meet his friends but everybody said to me, you know what? It's all in the past. If he didn't choose to get to know you, then he was nothing. And I said, that's right. Even though he perceives me as nothing, just what he perceived me as, he was actually nothing. And that's where I feel sorry for him because they stated to me, they were like, if he really cared about you or wanted to be with you, he'd make an effort. He wouldn't look just at this. And that's why I love those guys. Because they at first were a little skeptical on getting to know me because they saw only this. But one started. And from that one, two of them started. From that one, three. 
onto four to the point where they trust me and they're like one they even said one of the guys said once she calls you your brother or sister you can trust her with anything and I proved it to them so many times because they took a chance on getting to know me and you know what they found they said I am fun granted there's still a lot of shells be, and, and covering to be pulled off but that's because being sheltered from seven years old to 29 years old think of Rapunzel and that song the mother sings okay how would you like to hear that every day what would it do to you and then when you take your first step out even in the movie you take your first step out you start to trust somebody and because of perception around you and because of things and people trying to manipulate look what happens but then you get that energy and you find out it wasn't true and everything and you still fight but in Rapunzel she got the happy ending I don't get the happy ending when it comes to that I get it with friends that I consider my family and brothers and sisters but I never get it in love and I figure maybe it's me picking and I'm thinking no I'm just picking the same type of people that pick, have the same interest I even went to a dating site to even pick people and that's how I met the other guy the last one that had the similar same interests and I'm like what is wrong here if I'm putting the same similar interest and I said I like video games I like Doctor Who I like all this stuff I like anime I like you name it right I'm a tomboy and everything why is it if I'm finding people with my match with a little difference that's thing you still need somebody who has a little difference you can't be the same otherwise you'll kill each other why is it not working so that's why I took the first step and I went to the party I'm like you know what I'm not gonna wait around for any guy I'm not gonna wait around for any I'm gonna go have fun granted it would have been nice to have some fun with somebody and everything but I had more fun with my friends than I would have probably had with him because I don't know what because because I've never been to parties so this is like the first real fun night I had one of them told me you can actually be a fool. See, I don't know what that is because everything has to be proper and everything. You couldn't make a fool of yourself. If you did, it was repercussion or very bad teasing and stuff like that. They didn't tease. They didn't belittle me. And I was like, wow. That's why I'm like talking to you guys today because today is the 14th. And like I said, for me and my other ones, Friday after Friday 13th is supposed to be my lucky day. Sometimes I win with Lotto, sometimes I don't win with anything. My lucky day today, I'm hoping, is all this negativity gets pushed away from me and more of this positive that I'm finding comes to me. So let's hope and let's see what happens today because, like I said, I have to get ready for school and everything coming up. Hopefully trying to find uh, something to help supplement the income because I really need my job full time, but there's a job freeze and I can't jeopardize this job, school or anything. I have to like find something that will pay me, maybe start my own business or something, but you don't have the resources. This is the problem. So I'm going to leave off with this. Just let you guys know I had the best time ever <laughs> and hopefully this will wear off even more and everything, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep going out. And if my paths cross again with people that I've met in the past or have left me now, oh well, because I'm going to keep going forward while they stay in the back. You know what? Because if you keep staying in the back in the past, how are you going to get forward? Just keep your blinders on. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Don't look around you. Because I'm doing that. I'm looking around me. Because if I see you, it's high by and nice knowing you. <laughs> Because right now, I'm not stopping. I'm getting on with my life, and just like I said, I had a blast. A really cool blast. And hopefully, today gets even better. I'm going to do a little cleaning, going to do a little working on stuff. Shadow actually calmed down. So, fingers crossed. Everything's good. And hopefully today I can tell you maybe something good happened. All right? But bye for now, and have a great time. And Friday the 13th, 
is nothing to be scared of. Bye.